what up YouTube Sith Santos back with another video as you saw in today's video we're gonna be discussing the firebrand and stormcaller fight the firebrand and stormcaller fight is the new as uh, the second boss in the new uh, explosive conflict uh, operation by Star Wars the Old Republic uh, as you see we started the fight just a little bit late I forgot to hit record in time so it's about 80 percent the bosses are both around 80 percent um, you can hear her emoting. You're going to hear that throughout the whole fight. It basically keys you for what to do and when to do it. The recommended group composition is two tanks, two healers, four DPS. And let's go over some of the notable mechanics. Uh, obviously, there's going to be an enrage timer. I believe it's six minutes. When one of the bosses dies, though, the other one will enrage shortly thereafter, so you have to be careful with uh, DPS in them down pretty much at the same time uh, there's a mechanic called double destruction that's casted by Stormcaller it basically it's two blue orbs that he starts to cast in front of him and uh, the two closest people in Shield front it. of uh, Stormcaller will take uh, dot damage from it the other one of the other notable it's, mechanics uh, is called incinerate armor it's casted by firebrand uh, basically, it removes the armor on the uh, tank who's tanking Firebrand, and he takes a lot more damage, so the healers got to watch out. The both uh, Firebrand and Stormcaller have uh, have cleave abilities. Uh, the two main mechanics are defensive systems and offensive systems. When uh, she emotes, when she emotes, she emotes defensive systems. Two shields are gonna spawn. With, uh, two shields we're gonna spawn with a generator and some adds under it like right there and then offensive systems that she just emoted the, the both tanks stop targeting the their their tanks and they're gonna start shooting mortar volleys in the air as you see the mortars are hitting the shield but we're underneath the shield so we're not taking the damage the thing you have to remember here is that the shield generator has a health bar and any AOE will kill the health or will kill the shield generator and then you're free to get shot by the mortar volley so you wanna not do any AOE at all during that that phase uh, sing you wanna single target the ads and as soon as uh, the ads are down you can run back up to the ship and uh, start DPSing again uh, during the that that side on the other side on Stormcaller side it's gonna be basically the same thing except for the Stormcaller tank is going to get a lightning uh, generator spawn on top of him uh, throughout the phase that does AoE damage and drops like these big blue orbs so he wants to run around dropping them on the ground and uh, that will uh, avoid from him getting one shot or dying and as long as he's close enough to the healer he can survive the mortar volley and he won't be taking damage as you see there, one of our guys got a yellow, a yellow lightning spire on him. Uh, also on the Stormcaller tank, you want to have somebody on the ground. So you're going to have just two DPS on the left side of Stormcaller and the tank to the right. The other person has to be on the ground because uh, whoever's on the ground will get a uh, lightning spire put on their head and then an orb will drop to the ground. So the whole time they're on the ground, they have to be kiting. Uh, we decided to go with our operative uh, healer because he's uh, the, he's more mobile and he can heal and keep the DPS focusing on the two tanks uh, and it worked out pretty good for us. On the Firebrand tank, you want to stack uh, both DPS and the healer here on the right and then have the tank to the left. The good thing about this, as you'll see, is that I can heal our side and drop AOE heals on the other side plus reach the tank uh, when needed you see there I'm, I'm getting the tank who's on the other side so uh, you can heal a lot from from this position so let's do a quick recap you basically want to DPS the bosses evenly don't AOE the shield generators uh, there's gonna be debuffs in the tank where you have to watch out and uh, shield him or heal him uh, pretty hardcore on the firebrand tank on the storm color tank you want the two dps to take the orbs that he does Kill the other one. Um, pretty easy fight make sure that both uh, tanks are going down evenly if one is, get, is ahead of the other one 
just focus the other one, have one of the DPS switch focus, they can reach him from the tank they're in. Uh, like I said, pretty easy fight, pretty fun fight. We should have a video of the Minesweeper boss coming up uh, probably next week. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. And as always, this has been Sid Santos saying, see ya on the dark side.